Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. A couple of days back, we went through and we ranked all the assault rifles and broke down the best metal loadouts for those top rifles in the category, right? And there was an overwhelming amount of comments on that video saying, Zach, can you do this for the SMGs as well? And today, that's exactly what we're doing, breaking down all the SMGs, ranking them all where they stand in the current meta, and also breaking down the best loadouts for the best SMGs as well. As we go through it all, if you enjoy the video at any point, or if you find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here, or if you have not already subscribed, every single day I got you covered with all things going on in Call of Duty. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. So we're here on our SMG only tier list, same categories as always on our other tier list as well. We got top meta, so obviously, the absolute best of the best. Competitive, not necessarily the top options, but still very, very good. Viable, you could use them and you'll do okay with them, but they're not, uh, you know, the most incredible weapons out there. Below average, probably would not recommend. Niche, it's all right in very specific situations. And then garbage, no point in using it. Obviously, we have all of our old Cold War and Modern Warfare SMGs ranked. The Lapa, to me, stands above all these other ones post pacific update just because it still has one of the top ttks in the game still has great mobility very little recoil it's absolutely a very dominant smg the milano we've talked about previously great for sniper support right now surprisingly good mac 10 phenomenal mobility all right ttk if it had a better ttk even just a little bit better it would be top meta in my opinion it's still phenomenal Cold War MP5 is all right. It's definitely got that recoil factor now and a little bit worse mobility than before. So I think it's still pretty solid, but not the absolute best of the best. Bullfrog has always been, you know, that very competitive option. Great magazine capacity, obviously. MP7, great for sniper support. MW AUG, one of the best TTKs in the game. It's just not super practical for a lot of players. Uh, MW MP5, hip fire demon. We all know it's still very, very good. Cold War PPSH is doing well for itself. It's no Vanguard PPSH, but it's solid. Tech 9, also very good with damage and mobility. CX-9, good control, good mobility, great for sniper support. And the OTS also up there with one of the better TTKs. It just suffers a bit from some worse recoil and a pretty severe damage drop-off. But those are all very competitive, obviously, hence the category. The viable weapons here are all just decent. The only weapons I wouldn't really use a ton of right now are the ISO and the Striker or the UMP. They're just not super phenomenal. But let's go ahead. Let's break down these Vanguard guns and where they stand and then get into the best loadouts as well. So the Thompson, honestly, I think is probably the worst Vanguard sub. It just, it doesn't hit. It doesn't have good damage. I've tried and tried to make solid setups here that felt good for mobility, felt good for control, good ADS, and obviously a decent TTK. And I just, I, I can't do it. It just wasn't uh, something I was a huge fan of. So for now, I think it is just viable. I think this needs to be buffed a little bit, honestly, if it wants to compete with these other options. Owen Gun, no brainer, top meta, phenomenal. We've talked about this one for months now. It's one of my favorite subs in the game. The Type 100 statistically is also a top meta SMG. It has a little bit more recoil than some of these other subs, but my oh my, is it going to fry? Rhymes. And if it rhymes, you know it's got to be true, right? I mean, this thing's TTK is one of the best in the entire game. It's utterly insane. Vanguard PPSH, I love right now. Whether it's a hip fire build, it's the best in the game for that, or an ADS build, it has a very very good ttk not the best in the game but competitive enough that it stands above some of these other options good mobility good uh everything you need for an smg honestly control in there as well like you can't go wrong with that well gun is probably the most well-rounded well gun well-rounded smg in the game between its damage its mobility its recoil its range phenomenal probably my favorite gun in the game or favorite smg in the game right now the mp40 i would say at this point is probably competitive we all know it was the top option for quite some time but I think the nerfs that they've gone and given this have really made it balanced. It's not overpowered. It's not broken, stupid good, but it's not awful either. It's definitely a competitive sub, just not the best. And then the Sten, I also think is competitive. We talked about this one a while back. Its stats are actually surprisingly good, phenomenal mobility, and pretty good control as well. So not the greatest, but still worth using if you wanted to. You could definitely do well with it. But I really like this SMG meta. Ideally, everything would be in competitive. There's no outliers here, but even top meta between all these guns, it's a close call which one you want to say is the absolute best. Whether you think the Owen Gun sniper support build is phenomenal or the Type 100's within 10 meter TTK is the difference maker there. If the Well Gun's versatility is what makes it number one, you could make solid points for all of these. And I, that's what I love about this SMG meta right now. So when it comes to the best loadouts for these top tier meta SMGs, let's start first with the Lapa. This is obviously the most basic out of all these just because it only has five attachments and it's a pretty straightforward setup. Obviously, we're going for Agency Suppressor. That's the no-brainer choice for the muzzle. For the barrel here rifled is going to give you the best TTK for those close range fights. So of course you got to go for that as well. 
Now you have to run an optic on this thing unless you're just comfortable with the iron sights. I don't know if comfortable is the word because I don't know if anybody would be because I think they are atrocious. They are so bulky and just not convenient. So unfortunately, you have to waste the sight here, whereas most SMGs don't need that. You can just use the iron sights. They're not good enough in this case, though. Uh, I'm also going for either the 40 or the 50 round mag. Both of these work just fine. They're both phenomenal choices. It just depends if you want to be a little bit slower, but have that extra ammo on there. Uh, then lastly, you got a couple of choices. Some players like to go for the bruiser grip, get some better hip fire and movement speed. Other players like to go for the tiger team. That's my personal preference there. Some players will go for something like a raider stock. Totally comes down to you for that fifth attachment, but I think Tiger Team is probably your best choice. Now for the Owen gun, I'd probably still go with the most well-rounded and convenient build for all players, whether you're on console or uh, PC with the recoil, just because that's gonna be the most versatile. There are builds with better TTKs that we talked about earlier on this week, obviously. But first up, we're going for the recoil booster and the rapid barrel. That's gonna give you that ideal TTK for close range. You obviously gotta run the slate 2.5 times so you can get that better red dot and get the magazine out of your way when you ADS. Going for a move stock for the better mobility all around. You love to see that. Hand stop to minimize the control a little bit. Uh, the key part here is the Garenko 72 round drums. This is gonna make it nice and easy to use between zero and 25, 30 meters. You can stay on target relatively easy and the TTK is gonna be very good. The alternative setup here would obviously be no barrel and having these 60 round drums in there like we talked about a few days back. If you want more details on that, feel free to check out that video. Outside of that, we're obviously going for hollow point. I personally would still run uh, polymer on this loadout here just because it's gonna minimize that recoil. If you tried fabric with this exact build, you're gonna notice it does kick quite a bit visually and with the actual physical pattern. I'm also going for acrobatic here for the better mobility. And then lastly, I go for quick or fully loaded. Both of those work just fine. Just comes down to preference if you value that mobility over that extra ammo. But beast of a setup, absolutely one of the best choices for a sub right now. Now, the Type 100, as we talked about, has a ridiculous TTK. The thing is absolutely nuts. I'm going to give you sort of a mesh setup here that is both good for TTK, but also a little bit more usable. If you're going straight out for TTK and you're running the recoil booster and the rapid barrel with something like the 48 Kurz drums, you're going to have a lot of recoil there. Even on PC, it's not the easiest gun to use. Building this with that usual setup there, we'd be running hand stop on here, obviously going for hollow point as well. I'd run either hatched or polymer here. This does have a lot of horizontal movement and hatched can actually help out there quite a bit. Uh, polymer, obviously, as we know, is great for control as well. I'd probably also go with gung ho or acrobatic. Personally, I prefer the movement over the instant sprint to fire just because you can get sprint to fire better stats, not instantaneous, but better sprint to fire out of some other uh, attachments out there. So I personally go for acrobatic alongside quick as well. For the stock, I'm also going for skeletal better sprint to fire better movement and i'd usually go for like the short iron sight as well this is ttk base this does not have incredible control it's going to bounce around a lot which is why in this case i'd probably swap out for the 374 millimeter barrel which is going to give it some better stability in general and that really does make this setup a lot more convenient you could even try and use like the m1929 silencer if you wanted to as well to maintain some more control on there or even carver as well just for that vertical aspect but this setup is a little bit more uh grounded you could say it's going to be a little bit slower but still have a pretty good ttk and be a lot easier to use now the ppsh my preferred build is still the ads build uh, i the hip fire we all know it's insane i just prefer adsing a little bit more it's more consistent when it comes down to it so for that we're going for recoil booster we're going for my very own barrel the 300 millimeter i personally really like the uh the 3p site i believe it's called the iso 3p iron site Nice and basic, super clean for those close range fights. I do still run with remove stock, even though it is obviously helping out with hip fire. You're also getting a better sprint to fire and better movement speed out of that. You could run skeletal, hand stop, pistol grip, any of that on this setup here, and it'll work just fine. I like skeletal for the best ADS because obviously this is an ADS based build. Garanko 71 round drums, obviously going for hollow point on there as well. Polymer or fabric, both of those work just fine. Uh, tight grip for sure for the better control here, then also quick or fully loaded once more. Pretty basic ADS build that we've been talking about for quite some time. I am still loving it though. Definitely a top choice. And then lastly, when it comes to the well gun, there's a lot of different ways you could build this. I think no matter what, you're gonna be going for the recoil booster to help out that TTK. You could go for the shrouded barrel or the Gowan short. Both of these are great choices. I still prefer the Gowan short, but a lot of players I've seen running shrouded are really liking that. It makes it very easy to use. Like there's no recoil when you're using this thing. So this is a much uh, more accurate build, but it's not gonna have as good a mobility as using the short barrel here. I'm still running with the uh, GW03 iron sights here. I really like how those look. You could also run a slight reflector if you wanted to as well. I see a lot of players doing that. I'm also going for the remove stock or skeletal stock here. Removed is gonna be a little bit worse on control. Skeletal is gonna be a little bit worse for mobility. Just comes down to what you value more there. 
also going for hand stop in this case you could go for the uh pistol grip here if you wanted to or skeletal yet again hand stop is going to be a little bit easier to control though for the magazine i like 45 48 increasing that ttk even more hollow point polymer or fabric yet again polymer i feel like is a little bit more consistent there is some decent visual uh recoil and a physical pattern here that's a little bit more noticeable uh then perk one gung ho is a great choice you could absolutely go for that you'd probably want to adjust your setup a little bit there though if you're using this because obviously we focused a lot on sprint to fire attachments instead i like acrobatic i'm just i'm huge on that movement speed i love that you can just finesse players then lastly quick once more and it's a phenomenal setup as well like i said earlier though i am loving the smg meta right now just because there's so many options anything in that competitive category you could throw in here too and they'd be capable of completely of you know challenging ppsh as well guns so on and so forth that said though that is going to wrap things up for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did or if it helped you out let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with all things going on news updates loadouts tips and everything else going on in cod can be found right here so feel free to hit that sub button turn on those post noties that way you'll always know whenever i post a new video but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.